right, man. All right, so what do you got there? Uh, yeah, we got the, a little Les Paul studio. Oh, was... that's, that's a beauty. Yeah. Now, what, is that a Yamaha 12 string there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got uh, got that as well. So uh, uh, just what, a couple. What is that? What is that? An FG one sixty twelve. Oh geez, this is a uh, just as a FG four twenty twelve. Ooh, nice guitar, man. <laughs> Thanks, man. This is uh, this is these are the the two guitars that I bought um, either in high school with the with the Les Paul or just out of high school with the twelve string. So uh, I, I have um, I had a Yamaha FG one sixty that my mom got for me when I was about 15 or 16 years old. Yeah. And I'll tell you, you know, we were using that, that, that guitar on all the records, man. We, it's the guitar that appears on core on purple on uh, tiny music. And uh, I'll tell you, you know, Yamaha guitars are, are really beautiful instruments as well as their pianos. Yeah. And I was in an ISO booth and a vocal booth and I had Brendan O'Brien, the great Brendan O'Brien, our dear friend and the cat that we made all our records with. Yeah. And I had a bunch of his Martins and all these beautiful vintage guitars. And I was doing kind of a shootout. And I think it was uh, what guitar we were gonna use on maybe kitchenware and candy bars. Okay. And I would grab a guitar and Brendan couldn't see me. And I'm like I said, man, I got all these beautiful old Martins and I'm like playing the parties. So, okay, what's the next one? Next one, next one. He goes, oh, what's that one? That's nice. I go, that's my Yamaha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. my mom so, bought this for me. <laughs> what's even more amazing, um, I gave the guitar to my son when he turned 16. Oh, that's great. So that's you know, awesome. he's driving around in the car with his kids and, and an STP song happens to him. He'll be like, that's the guitar that's in our... <laughs> <laughs> wherever it is in our wow oh, that's yeah. amazing is he uh, is he uh, becoming a good player he's an amazing player he's uh, an extraordinary musician he plays drums piano bass guitar sings oh, wow. and uh, my nine-year-old daughter is just really really bitten by it all too she's an incredible little artist she loves to paint and draw and she loves she loves taking her barbies her latest creation was extraordinary she took her um ball ready Barbie with her flowing gown and she made a mini skirt and made her all punk rock and wild and yes. cut all her hair off. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, amazing. Yeah. She's, she loves to sing, man. Yeah. That would be really hard, man. If, if, uh, if you're the, the kid of someone who's reached the tops of, of music, like you have, um, to stand in that shadow has got to be really tough for them. Is there any uh, uh, thought of, of of your son going professional at all? Well, um, you know who he's really into? He's really into film. Mm. I think, uh, I think he, let me fix my camera here. Sorry. I think he, um, I mean, I, I brought him into the studio uh, a couple months back with these high hopes that, he and I were going because we sat down one night. I, he sat down at the piano here one night. He, he started playing these very adult, very beautiful chords. And I grabbed my, my guitar and I said, let me, let me jump in on this. And we recorded this really beautiful piece of music. Very, very mature for it. He was 17 years old at the time. And I was really taken back by it. And I said, let's go in the studio next weekend. And I had these delusions of grandeur that I was going there with my 17-year-old kid and we were going to make this music. Yeah. Dad sat on the couch. Yeah. Dad sat on the couch. He played drums, bass, guitar, keyboards, and sang. He came in with two songs ready to go. Wow. And there were a couple times where I chimed in. I said, I have a, I have a, I have a cool part for this. He'd be like, no, I'm, not, I'm not really feeling that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Wow. So my next my next studio uh venture is hopefully to go in and cut something with my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, that's uh that's amazing. When did uh when did your kids start to know that uh their dad was something uh in in something very special? Uh were they able to see you in concert uh, at an early age? When did you let when did you kind of sneak that in? Yeah, they were I mean my, my son, more so than my daughter, uh, was raised on the road, man. Mm -hmm. 
you know, he was raised on the road. He, he toured with me uh, a lot. And my daughter has come out quite a, quite a bit too. So yeah, they got to see, uh, uh, what, what dad does. And, um, you know, I, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty even keeled, man. They weren't like, you know, they're, they're, I'm very fortunate. We're very fortunate. We have some very even keeled kids. We're rather a Brady bunch over here. My wife has children from a previous marriage and my son is from a previous marriage and we have our daughter together and all of the kids are very, very selfless. They're very loving. They're very kind. You know, man, it was amazing because just yesterday, my daughter's attending school through Zoom. And I swear to you, man, the teacher actually stopped the class. She goes, I want to bring attention to one of our friends and how she always asks the other person how they're doing before she can ask about herself or her own question, her kindness, the way she pays attention and how she shows like care and attention and love to those around her. I want to point out June DeLeo. And we, my wife and I were just like, did that just happen? I'm like, wow. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, we're very fortunate in the respect that they're very grounded kids and they could really give a hoot about dad's gig, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, my daughter says she was dad. My daughter does say she was dad. You have those headphones on so much, your brain's going to come out of your ears. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You're probably blessed with the idea that no dad is really truly as cool as they are to, to other kids or, or other adults. So you're, you're probably yeah. blessed by that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, man, I want to talk about uh, so many things with you. I know we got a limited time. The the Rust Belt and East Moline, you guys are going to be playing. Um, it's um, been a while since you guys have been on a stage. You just had a couple shows this month uh, after a long period of time off. How did that feel? Well, you know, man, it's that old uh, that old adage, like riding a bike, you know. Yeah. And what's interesting about it, and then Robert kind of experiences the same thing. You're just like, you know, when you have that amount of time where you haven't done a show, and this was, this was the most amount of time ever in my life. Yeah. I mean, this, this 2020 was a crazy year, especially for my business. Mm -hmm. So the last shows we did as a band were uh, October of you know, two years ago this month. Yeah. Or next month. The, right. the last shows we did, the last touring we did with the great rival sons and Tyler Bryant was October of 19. Mm -hmm. Two years. Yeah. So yeah, you so kind you're... of, when the gigs kind of up before rehearsals hit, you're like, am I going to remember how to do this? Right. Am I going to? Did you and, have to buy uh, some tablature and <laughs> figure well, out the we, songs? We got into rehearsals and, um, you know, it, it's just like this cellular memory that kind of takes place. And if I don't think about it and just let my hands do their it thing, just goes. it goes pretty well. Yeah. The minute I start to think about it, I have a ladle and a big pot and I'm serving up some chowder. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you tend to, do, uh, to be a little bit productive during the quarantine. Uh, tell, tell me a little bit about how Trip the Witch started going for you. Trip the Witch. Trip the Witch um, is a record that Tom Buchenbach and I made. I was introduced to Tom. Any of you guitar players out there, if you're not watching Tom's show on YouTube called Homeschooling, you're doing yourself a disservice. Tom is, um, Tom is probably the most extraordinary guitar player on the planet. And uh, I'm proud to call him my friend and my brother. And... Um, He's been in Nashville for about 28 years and probably he's probably on half the records in your record collection. Right. Just a, a, a old session guy, which I think are some of the most underrated players. Yeah, on well, he's younger than I, and Tom's only about 51, 52 years old, but he's, he's younger than I, but he's, uh, he's been on, uh, like I said, he's been down there since he was a kid man, yeah. and he's played on thousands of records. Well, I was introduced to Tom, um, and we just hit it off, man. Like we hit it off and, uh, had this, real kindred soul between us and especially musically speaking. Yeah. And we, we made this record, man. 
Uh, and you went back and forth with digital files and, and did that whole deal? Is that how it was kind of made? We basically wrote the record. We didn't use Zoom, but we surely just filmed ourselves playing a part where there was like, like there's a couple songs in the record, like Tom wrote top to bottom and there's a couple on I wrote top to bottom, but then there was a couple where he had a verse, you know, it was obviously a verse and I write the chorus or vice versa. So it was a very collaborative effort in that respect, but it was all done with our iPhones, just sending little movies back and forth. Yeah. And uh, he would cut his stuff in Nashville and I would cut my stuff here in LA. And, um, you know, over the course of six months or so, um, uh, we had this, this body of work and uh, it just came out, uh, I think two weeks ago, it just came out. So yeah. Yeah. It's uh, an, I don't know. It, did, you, did, did, did you get a copy of the record? Uh, I, I listened to it on Spotify, of course. So oh, okay, yeah, cool. it's, it's really interesting, you know, it, with it being mostly instrumental, you know, you kind of have a lot of um, um, different instrumentations and pedal steels and stuff that I'm not necessarily used to you playing. Uh, but it kind of uh, reminded me, you know, with the acoustic stuff, the the Perdita album, uh, the last STP album, you know, had that kind of vibe, too, where uh, different instrumentation and different kind of feels and sounds. Is that kind of how you keep things fresh for yourself, just adding new things and trying new sounds. You know, um, fresh is a good word. Fresh is, is surely a good word. There's also a, a, a sense of catharticism that comes along with that. You know, it's, it's songs that have kind of been, you know, I don't know what, how to put it, you know, brewing. Mm -hmm. There's kind of songs like, like, look, I, I think music is really just kind of a, a snapshot of time. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, you know, like life, life can be really beautiful at times and, and life can be a, a demon, man. Yeah. And we surely experience a lot of people experience a lot of tragic uh, stuff throughout 2020. I'm not saying I did, uh, you know, I came out pretty unscathed, but you know, I, I think, life in general kind of really dictates one's creativity. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is just kind of stuff that was kind of set around in Tom and my, my hearts. And, uh, and it just kind of, um, you know, when you, when you can get what's happening in here and here to come out the speakers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, Oh, all right. That sounds just the way I wanted it. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of what we had this luxury of doing. And, yeah. you know, like I said, man, uh, if if you're a guitar player out there, you have to go to Tom's homeschool and YouTube channel. I'll check it out for and sure. And he is the most gifted, extraordinary player. And you know, I'm a firm believer that you're only as good as those around you. Yeah. And in 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 STP and in this trip the witch with Tom, these cats make me sound great, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, Russ Belt and East Moline, Saturday, October 23rd. Uh, it's going to be an amazing show. I, I was kind of interested in, you know, we, I was able to see you guys at rock fest in Chicago in 2000. And, uh, oh, yeah. and of course that was a memorable show for me. That was my only time I was able to see you guys. Uh, what makes a show memorable for you? Uh, what is it about the show that you guys have played so many shows? How does one kind of get sticky in your brain? Well, I mean, I think the most, the most memorable thing is, is the energy of the evening, mm -hmm. you know, the energy and, and, um, it's just that reciprocal thing, just this immersed ball of love and, uh, energy. And, you know, think of what just comes under that word energy and it's such a vast word, right? Yeah. So it's, it's that reciprocal thing. And, um, you know, it's just, we've been very fortunate to have uh, a catalog of songs and, a, and, a, and to come up with a set list of songs that people, you know, love singing along. And, and it's just to look out and see this like true joy in someone's face. You can see like what they're thinking, like, oh, I remember when I heard Plush and, you know, you know, all, you know, all this, just like you can see it and you can feel it. Yeah. And, uh, that's what's so so beautiful about it. It's such a such a a social event and such a, a loving event, you know. And then uh, 
that's that's what really we get off on you know yeah uh well we uh we uh as fans want to thank you for continuing to uh, push the uh, the stone tip of pilots. We of course love and miss Scott, uh, but to have you guys yes. out there playing the music, it's a very important thing to keep uh, these songs and his memory alive. So thank you for doing that, Dean. Thank you, man. Thank All you. right, we'll uh, we'll see you soon. I'll let you go, buddy. Thank you so I'll much for you your soon. time. You better right, come man. back and say hello. We'll do. We'll do. Thank you, man. All right. All right. We'll see you later.